<coughs> okay, let's just draw a box here. I'll give it some, some dimensions. Uh, 20 feet. Ah, how about 20 feet? 20 inches. There we go. By uh, 40 feet. Okay, obviously auto roofs are on. And for a vault, I want to change this to a gable. So I'm going to take this end, open this wall here, and uh, go to the roof tab, tell it to be a full gable. And we'll do that on both ends. So I'll repeat that action again on the other wall. Roof tab. Full gable. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I'll do a camera on the inside. And I haven't turned the ceiling off, so you're going to see a flat ceiling. We'll open the dialog box. And uncheck, go to the structure tab, uncheck ceiling. And you've got a common rafter vault. Okay, I'm going to go back to plan. Go over here to the build roof dialog. We'll set the uh, pitch to 412. Okay, now it's 412. That's what I was, this is what I was talking about. This is Suite 2015. With a common rafter uh, set up, in other words, you just select the uh, open the dialog box and uh, go to the structure tab and uh, turn off ceiling in this room, and you've got basically a, what would look like a common rafter. But the you go outside, and the pitch is 412. It's not a, it's not 612 on the outside. Suite's not capable of such uh, sophistication. It's 412 inside and out. What you can do, I'm going to, I said you could do this, I'm going to see if it doesn't work. We're going to go over here to uh, build roof dialog. We'll set the pitch to uh, 6 and rebuild the roofs. And I've still got to set common rafter. So now the interior common rafter vault is set to a, a 612. Now what we're going to, I'm going to hit shift F6, shift F6. Okay, now I'll go over here to the uh, plan view. I'm going to add a soffit. Go to the cabinet tools, soffit. And we'll put a soffit in here. I'm going to zoom in on this soffit and make sure that it's pointing in. Yeah, there's a soffit there. We'll stretch the soffit out. I'm going to stretch that soffit to the center of the roof. It snaps there. And then we'll open the dialog box of the soffit. And I don't know if Sweet, apparently you don't have a sloped soffit in, uh, you don't have a sloped soffit in Sweet. In Architectural and Pro, I would, there's an additional setting in the uh, soffit dialog box, which would allow me to slope it. And it doesn't exist in suite. <clears throat> so I'm going to, just to finish this up, I'm going to save this and we'll call it Untitled Plan. That's fine. And we'll save it into Home Talk, my Home Talk folder. Now I'm going to open the thing in uh, Architectural. There we go. Architectural 2015. I said you could do it in architectural, and I thought I'd go ahead and check. Why not? We'll let that initialize and open. And we'll open the plan. And we'll find that, uh, I put that on my desktop, so I'm going to go to Drive C, Users, Me, Desktop, Home Talk. Folder. Where'd you go? 
There it is. Okay, there it is, Untitled Plan. Now, I'm going to see if in Architectural we actually have the extra functionality I mentioned. Ah, see there it is, Slope Soffit, Place Under Roof. <clears throat> so, you can do what I suggested in Architectural, you can't do it in Suite. You're just screwed. I'm sorry. Now that I've sloped that, I can stretch it out. Let me show you how this looks in a camera. Now in Pro, you could do this even in a more sophisticated way. Now, what I did was I just told this to follow the roof. Now, if you want that at 412, um, I'm just going to go over here and open the dialog box of that object. And... Uh, See, there's inputs here for the uh, height at the front face and the height at the back face. And the, you can see the front face is higher than the back. So if we want to make a lower pitch, we set this to like 144 inches. And, okay, you get the idea. You can make this soffit uh, skinny, so there's just a surface like that and that's how you would do your scissor truss in architectural of course that's not you can't really do that in suite so it's not really not much help to you I'm going to stretch this out and then we'll we'll copy this I'm going to copy it and then uh, the copy I'm going to spin around and set on the other side like that and that looks kind of like a 412 uh, inside and it's 612 on the outside and this is architectural <coughs> so let's just take this might as well just take this all the way I'm going to close this plan and we'll open Pro Pro 2015. Wait for that to initialize. <clears throat> okay, and I'll open that plan there. Open plan. Same procedure. We'll go to Drive C, Users, Me, Desktop, Home Talk. Untitled. Okay, so it's the same plan. I just opened it in Suite and then Architectural. Now I'm going to take get rid of, the, rid of these soffits. And uh, I'm going to uh, put this t temporarily turn the ceiling back on. Over here and turn this flat ceiling back on. The reason for that is the truss tool as it works in Pro and, and Premiere, you have to have an envelope. Let me show you. I'll do a cross section through here. You have to have an envelope created by the flat ceiling and the roof planes, which are currently set to uh, 612. So if I create a truss, we'll go uh, Shift F6. Okay. And on this, this side here, I need to make sure that trusses is turned on. So we'll go over here to uh, yeah display options and go to framing roof truss where is that there it is framing no that's wall oh where is it that must be it framing roof truss there it is. I just want to make sure that that's on. Now, there's nothing there because I haven't created any. Now here's the camera over here, so I'm going to switch to this screen by left clicking on this screen. And we'll go to Framing Tools. Let's build framing. Roof truss. See it right there? I'm going to left click on that to make the active tool. And then we'll left click and drag. And there's your truss. And it's created in the void, created by the roof planes and the flat ceiling. 
Now that's a regular truss. Now you wanted a scissor truss, and that's a slight variation on this. So I'm going to delete this truss, and we're going to take out the flat ceiling, uncheck ceiling. Now I'm going to go over to uh, the build roof dialog and set the pitch to four. I'm not going to rebuild. Uh, I'm going to turn off auto rebuild roofs. I don't want to rebuild roofs. I'm going to set the pitch to four. The, the roofs will stay put at at six, twelve. We'll set the manual roof plane setting at four, which I just did. And we'll go over to build roof ceiling plane. That's a tool that just exists in uh, Home Designer Pro. I'm going to click over here on the edge of the wall, left click and drag, and it creates a ceiling plane. See there's a ceiling plane. It's really thin. And I set it to 412. We'll just fill that in. Fill that all the way in. I'm putting it just on the inside of the wall because the scissor truss is on the inside of the wall. Now I'm going to take this and uh, copy it. Let's see, I, I'm going to undo that. Hit the escape key. I'm just going to take this roof plane, uh, ceiling plane. There it is. There's a ceiling plane. And we'll use a transform replicate. Where is that? I don't see transform replicate. That's okay. I'll just copy that and we'll flip the copy around and move it over like that and voila now we created a new envelope for the scissor truss we have the custom ceiling planes to define the bottom now that the flat ceiling is turned off and we have the roof planes in place now when I go over to uh, the framing tools build framing um, of truss and then we drag through there and you have a, a scissor truss but that's a, that's what pro does that our architectural and the other other uh, titles don't do and it's very specific to those steps and, and the tool fills up the void that you create in each case and that's how the how that works uh, I just rather than just saying that you have to have architectural and, and you have to have pro and so forth I thought I would just demonstrate it so it wouldn't just be a, a bunch of hot wind that I'm making okay thanks for watching